Hello, Sarah E. Crowder here today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to extract a portion of an image and create a transparent background and then add the original shadow back to the image with a translucent background so that if you place this onto a colored background, you'll see that colored background kind of peeking through the shadow and it'll look really real as it were originally photographed um, on that colored background. So we're going to start by right clicking on the background and clicking on duplicate layer. And then on this background copy, we're going to come over here and you can either use, some people like to use this, um, the magic wand tool or the quick selection tool. That's what a lot of people use. I've kind of gotten used to using this magnetic lasso tool. So we're going to start by just pulling out the mango itself, um, not the shadow. So I'm just going to swing around here. And then it's a good idea to kind of zoom in and take a look at this is a pretty simple image that really stands apart from the background, but it's a good idea to zoom in really closely and see if there are any areas that need fixing. Like if I were doing this for client work, I would come in here and kind of tidy this up a bit to make sure I'm getting all the mango in. Um, but right now we're just going to move on. So then I'm going to go to select inverse so that we're selecting everything in the image except for the mango that we've pulled out. And then I'm going to do control X to cut that. Now you can't see it yet because we still have the background on here so I'm going to disable the background so you can see that now we have the mango pulled out. Um, so coming back to the background now we're going to select a color range. So select color range and then you're going to have some options here select shadows. Um, I like to it, I, it just helps me to be able to see it better if I select invert then when I'm looking at the shadow I can see exact you know pretty much what it's going to look like when I pull it out so you can you can kind of play with the the range um, and then also the fuzziness and kind of get you know what the look that you want to get as far as the shadow is concerned so I'm going to keep it right there I'm going to deselect invert since that's not what I want hit OK so now it's highlighted those um, shadow areas so I'm going to hit control C and then control V to paste paste the layer um, let's see, and then we need to pull that layer above the background copy and then disable the background. So now you can see the transparent background with this shadow over it. And so we're going to be able to see any colors popping through if we put this, you know, for example, on a light blue background, there's going to be just a light blue tint on that shadow that's going to make it look as though it were photographed on that background originally. Uh, if you have any questions, please head over to sarahecrowder.com slash blog um, and ask me a question in the comments. Thanks.